look at um, creating pattern rules from, from models. Okay, so we've been given this pattern rule. Okay, it's this one here, and I duplicated it on the bot. And uh, I quickly asked you, and could you build me a, an equation for this pattern? And you did. You said that we start with one constant and we add one, usually they call them a variable, or what it's increasing by each time, right? So our constant we wrote in green, you know, it's always going to be there. We always had this one here. I should write the number one instead of a check mark, right? So we always had that one. And then we increased forever figure number. The n represents the figure number. So in figure one, we increased by one. In figure two, we increased by one from figure one and we had two, right? And we had three in this one. But how do I know, I wrote the exact same pattern below, that it doesn't start with two constants and then adds one and then adds one. If we were to do that and build the equation, that means we have one, two constants every time. Okay, So our green or our constant would be two. And we did increase by one and then by one. But when we go to build our equation, our figure one, no, if we plug one in for n, one, times 1 is 1 plus 2 is 3. So figure 1, we should have 3, which is not right. So we know this equation works, but I'm a little unsure how to set up the original. Like, how, why was this one wrong and this one was right? But what I'm going to get you to do is I want you to think about the idea of figure 0. Okay, So I'm going to copy this. Copy it and paste it down here. Okay, so we're unsure how many to highlight. So what I'll do is I'll remove, let's get the big one here. There we go. Remove all our highlighting. We're unsure what's going to be the constant term. We know that this is figure one, and they usually write it as figure one, figure two, figure three. Okay, so if we're going to be building equations like this, and we're going to base them off of the figure ones, two, and threes, what we need to do is we need to figure out how many terms are in what I would call figure zero. Okay, so let's move over just a little. Let's set this up. Figure zero. This guy's actually really, really important. Okay, we discovered we started with two, right? So we're at two, and then three, and then four. So that's how many terms, right? How many, uh, Values are two, three, four. So if I was to go back from figure one to zero, how many blocks would there be? One. There'd just be one. Okay. And figure zero will tell you what the constant term is in your equation. Okay. So when we go back, however number, however many blocks are in figure zero, that's how many constants there are, okay? That's really important for us to figure out. I know it's not really explained often. So we know there was one, right? We only have that one constant, so we would add by our value of one. And then when we went to figure one, we increased, we went to two. So we increased our value by one. So our number that we put in front of the n or we multiply n by is the number one, okay? So same idea here. Um, let's see if I can quickly build one. I'll build it with sticks here. I might make it a little awkward. Let's see. One, three, okay. And this figure one, I'm going to clone them. Great. Okay. Clone it again. Okay, so we're going to have three figures here. And I'm just going to add. The way you saw me build it, you can probably guess what the constant's going to be. But it can be hard to see by the numbers of sticks. Okay, so I made it a little awkward. Hard to see here. I'm going to call this figure one, figure two, figure three. This is our next example, so we'll call this example number two. I don't know whether I have, um, I'm starting with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then it looks like we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind. We have 5 and then 7, and as a count, we have 9. So is my constant 5, and then I increase by 2? 
is my constant 3, and then I have 2, and then I increase by 2? How can we figure out what our constant is? What can we do? What should we try to do with our pattern here? What figure did we say was really important to figure out? Figure 0. Okay, so let's figure out what figure 0 would be. How many sticks would there be in figure 0? What's the pattern, I guess, first off? How much is this changing by? 2. It's increasing yeah. by 2. It's increasing by 2 each time. So to go to figure 0, would we increase by 2 from figure 1? No, we would subtract 2. Yeah, we would subtract 2. So when we subtract 2, how many sticks should we have? 3. 3. Which means, what's the constant in this equation? 3. That's right. So we have 3 is our constant. And what number are we increasing by every time? 2. That's right. We increase by 2. So our equation would be 2n plus 3. So now we can kind of answer that hard question.